another rainy day. Rain, rain, and more rain. Pitter patter on the tin roof against the window glass. Drip drop off the eave into a muddy puddle. The earth has soaked up all that it will. Now you see little streams turning, running, curving beside the road and pathway. The river grows, rushing, gushing, sloshing over rocks into the wet banks of clay and stone. Gouging, sculpting, redirecting. Wider, higher it climbs, reaching new heights and diameter. Yes, another rainy day, trying to do some damage, it seems. But let me rethink this. What are these wonderful drops of laughter really accomplishing in their plummet to the earth? Methinks they have good intentions. Blessing the ground from draught, sent on our God's sole command to enrich the ground with minerals, perhaps with love and warmer thoughts of the days ahead, when flowers and trees will bud, blossom, and bloom, filling the atmosphere with sensations, aromas, perfumes. Colors will then arouse our hearts and eyes, crimson, violet, emerald green, and vast skies of pure azure, with a soft, fresh breeze to caress your cheek, just as the raindrop does now, freely, chilly, lightly, rolling on their bellies while we grow numb to the dampness. Soon enough, rainbows will replace rains, springtime sun-kissed with God's loving hand, will arouse and waken all of our senses from a long winter's nap. This is why I thank the Lord for another rainy day.